Last question in the exam, we have Kieran preparing food for his baby and we have this really common question that comes up every year. Y is equal to AE to the power of BT or KT in this case. T is time. Y is the difference between water temperature and room temperature at time T. A and K are constants as always. And we're told the temperature of the water when it boils is 100 and the room temperature is a constant 23. So you were told here the difference between water temperature and room temperature at time t. So water temperature when it's 100, the room temperature is 23, we'll be able to y, 77. And then we'll have 77 is equal to a e to the power of 0, as always. So the initial amount is going to be 77, or a is going to be 77 as well. After five minutes, we're told temperature is 88 so t is equal to 5 and we're asked to find the value of k so just set up your equation so water temperature is 88 room temperature is 23 so y is equal to 88 minus 23 as above which is 65 so setting up our equation we're going to get 65 is equal to a 77 e to the power of k times 5 so k is the only unknown here so we divide by 77 i'll do it in a couple of steps we could do this in one step but i think you're better off just take your time that's equal to e to the power of 5k and if you use natural log you can get the natural log of both sides so you can get the natural log of 65 over 77 is equal to 5k by the natural log of e which is equal to 1 so we just divide by 5 and knock off our 5 here, we'll get k is equal to. So that's giving me minus 0 0.03388. And three significant figures will be 0 0.339. Minus 0 0.0339 nine for k correct two two three significant figures let's see kieran prepares food for his baby when the water has cooled to 50. Okay, well, let's get y y is equal to the difference between the water temperature and the room temperature so y is 27 for this part and we're looking for t the nearest minute so we have k now so 27 y is equal to a e 77 e to the power of minus 0 0.0339 times t so it's the same as the question above just divide by 77 27 over 77 we're going to get the natural log of that which would bring the minus 0.0339 t down and we'd be getting the natural log of e obviously is equal to 1 again so we're just going to divide by to minus 0.0339 and if you're really neat and tidy in an exam you can do it in one step like this or combined steps the examiner will know what you're doing t is equal to 30.91 and we're asked for it to the nearest minute so that will be 31 minutes Kieran has to wait while the baby's gone crazy looking for his food he needs to come up with a different method I think so what I would do, we already have a couple of these values, but I definitely would set up a little table if we're ever asked to draw a graph in an exam. You can see here from 77 all the way down to 2.5, our exponential graph is dropping quite steeply. So we were to do a sketch of it, and I just have some values over here too, I set up my table. I do my y-axis, my x-axis, I put 77 up the top, that's the max value of this function, and it's coming down quite quickly. Um, by the time we get to near the x-axis it reaches a value of we have over there 2.5 let's say so this is the sketch of the curve then in the next part on the same diagram sketch the curve g of t is equal to ae to the power of mt showing the water cooling at a faster rate so if it cools at a faster rate, if you imagine the graph is going to go like this, and it's going to come down like this, so is it cooling faster? Of course, as you can see here, that this graph is below this one, it's definitely cooling faster. And suggest one possible value for m 
you have drawn and give a reason. Well, what we want to do here is let's just test two values. One on the other side of minus, what do we have? 0 0.0339. We'll take one value on each side of it and you'll see what happens. 77e to the power of minus 0.0339. And we set our calculator up. We just have a times whatever here. So I'm going to do, what was the first value we had? Somewhere in here. Let's say when t was equal to 5. Let's see what we get. And then we know what we have for t is equal to 5. The one above here we got 65. So that was 65 for our one. So what if we change this value? We're at minus 0 0.03. So let's do minus 0 0.04. And then let's do minus 0 0.02. And see which one will get us closer to the value. So we have two sums here for our calculator. This is giving me 63.04. And this one's giving me 69.67. And I'll just check one more just to show g of t if it was equal to, if k was equal to, minus 0 0.5 say. So much, much higher value. And that would give us the water cooling really, really quickly. After five minutes, it would be six degrees or 6.32. So what value are we gonna choose for K here? We'll choose for it to cool quicker. We'll choose 0.04, I think, in this question. And to just differentiate, F prime T is gonna be equal to, this is E to the power of AX goes to AE to the power of AX. So just bring the minus 0 0.0339 in front. And that's multiplied by 77e to the power of minus 0 0.0339 by 1. And then just change your calculator. Go back and you can change the 1 to a 10. Minus 0 0.0339 by 10. So the first one's giving me minus 2.52. And the second one is giving me minus 1.859 minus 1.86 and normally these questions they'll ask what this means in the context of the question and we can see here that the water is cooling at a quicker rate early on so the graph is falling steeper than later on when it kind of comes down and flattens out the cooling rate is lower along here than it will be here which is what's happening between one minute and ten minute within this question so hope you did well in the test happy christmas